Hey guys, it's your mate Animate Reviews, because I'm your mate who likes anime, and I've avoided buying an Android up until this point. It's been really, really hard. A lot of them are very cute. They're so cheap. I like the styling of the Nendroids and how they're all uniform with each other. It's just, it's, there's a lot to like about Nendroids, but it's a trap that I think I was gonna fall into if I wasn't really, really careful. Which brings me to Kitagawa. Look at how cute she is. I love her so much. How could I not? You know, 6,500 yen for happiness. I'll take that bargain any day. Yeah, I, I, I just love Marin Kitagawa so much. She's like my favorite character in anime and like, cool, beautiful, like, teen model. Like, you get to they, find out really soon that she's, she's really cool. Like, down to earth, you know, like, she's so above it all yeah, that she, like, like, you know, it doesn't even occur to Kitagawa to think of Gojo as an outcast. She just me. completely sees him for what he is and how amazing he is. Maybe someone will love me one day. You know, she's out there having a go at it. It's so nice. Self. And she's trying to create something for the anime that she loves. And so cute! Love her so much. Oh, she's so favourite. I can't wait to open her. She looks so cute as an android, too. Like, look at that and her little props like are you kidding i want to like pose her and play with her and all that sort of stuff and she comes anyways because i love her so much and she's my only nendroid i wanted to do something a bit special for her i wanted to make a little nendroid scale version of kitagawa's room from the anime and i actually happen to have the perfect space for it and it's my two little box things above me um, I was originally inspired by the Shy Sheep, who has like a similar lo little box thing in her background. Mine aren't perfect, but I like them all the same, but I haven't really had any direction for them. And I thought renovating them into little Nendroid rooms would be perfect, because they're just about the right size. There's two of them, so I can afford one more deviation from my uh, no Nendroid policy. And yeah, I just think it'd be really cute to look at while I'm like facing that direction using the computer. But yeah, this is my first time attempting something like this. I want it to be like to a really good quality level if I can help it. Uh, but I haven't really done anything like this before. You know, I've made the odd diorama in high school maybe. Um, <laughs> shit. Were you guys making dioramas in high school? I was, but I was doing a lot. So yeah, this is my desk as it is right now, and I've never really been happy with this space. Putting crap in there, still not happy with it. But I th I'm really hopeful for what we're going to be doing. Yeah, look at that. With Kitagawa in there, that's like the perfect size. It's so good. That empty space there would be the bed. Maybe where the boxes would be the size of the couch. Yeah, I I'm really, really liking this. I'm, I'm actually really hopeful this is going to be cool. And then, yeah, I'll do something of the other one later, but I'm not sure what. So, yeah, there's actually a fair bit of reference material out there for her room. It's actually not too complicated to make, I don't think. You know, like, there's a couch, there's, like, a little drawer thing, bed, table, what are these, hat boxes? I don't know. Uh, a little bin, and then plush stuff all around. And then, yeah, for the pictures and stuff, I can just sort of print them out and make my best approximation of what they would look like. But, yeah, the interesting thing is going to be all these, like, pillows and fabrics and stuff like that. The plan is just to go to Spotlight and see how close I can get some of these. Alright, so this is like a little scale thing I made in Photoshop, just to give me an idea of the proportions. Now, straight away I've made like a little bit of dead space over here, and that's because you can't really see that corner when you're at my desk, so I thought it'd be fine. In the reference photo, she's got like a desk here, but I'm going to be omitting that. Um, and then, yeah, if Kitagawa just walks over here, she's got her little futon. And the table would be, like, somewhere here. Um, you've got the desk bedside drawers with the hat boxes on top of them. And then if she just hops up into bed, uh, you know, that would be like if she was sitting on the end of the bed right now. So there's a, a bed base, mattress, and then a um, headboard over here. And then, yeah, I've got these posters to scale as well. So, yeah, I I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's really not too complicated. Um, I'm not even sure if I want the table. If I do make the table, I can even use this empty space over here for it. Uh, when I'm not, with like, maybe I'll display Marin standing here. Um, and yeah, and because the box is so tall, I can use a lot of this vertical space very, very well. The first thing I really wanted to figure out was all these fabrics that she has in her room. They're really prominent. They take up the bulk of the visual footprint in her room. So I really wanted to make sure these are right out of the gate. And we did pretty much all of them in the first spotlight trip. Uh, we ended up going back for just one fabric in the end. And yeah, I think these fabrics ended up being a pretty good approximation of what a real-life version of Marin's room would look like. 
barring that I can't just go print a bunch of custom fabric like they did for the real real life room of Marin's uh, that they made in Japan, which looks freaking awesome. The next morning I started by just mixing a wall color that was sort of similar to the one in the show. I applied that and got it drying and then started cutting out these uh, posters and wall scrolls and stuff like that. I'd spent the last night before that actually like cutting them out of the uh, screenshots, proportioning them, and then uh, AI upscaling them. I think they turned out pretty good, but don't look too closely at them, if you know what I mean. Then I got to start on the furniture. I really wanted to tackle the couch first because I figured it would be the most difficult. Uh, my plan for this was just to sort of cut the shape out of foam, then back it with this balsa wood, and then actually, like, same as a real couch, like, actually upholster it with um, this fabric. Um, this ended up being pretty okay. If I was going to have a second attempt at it, I would probably do it in two couch sections, like two cushions, and then use the um, toothpicks to sort of get them together. Uh, trying to upholster it with this curve in the middle ended up being quite challenging. Um, I even ended up like running out of fabric at the corner here, um, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, but as long as you're not looking at that side, it looks fine. And I'll probably cover up that corner with like some sort of clutter or something in the real picture. The bed, on the other hand, was just so easy. I just basically made the mattress, sanded down like the top of it so it was sort of round. Um, I backed it with balsa wood and then just upholstered it with like an old t-shirt that I had, uh, just as the base sheet layer pretty much. Um, and that made the mattress section. And then for the bottom section, I made like a little, just the facade of a bed base pretty much. Um, I had this cool, like dark red sort of, uh, chalk paint that I used that I was pretty happy with. It's, uh, in the show, it's more of a brown, but I like this color better for me. The drawers next to her bed, or like her bedside table little thing, uh, they ended up being a little bit more challenging. Uh, I had a trouble getting the exact size that I was happy with. Um, but And yeah, actually constructing the thing was quite hard. It was, it was difficult, like, woodworking at that size without, like, doing a bunch of, like, jigs and brackets to sort of make it all work. Um, but I think it ended up pretty square in the end, and I was quite happy with it. Um, I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's end of day one. I got a fair bit done today. I'm like 50% done, I think. Um, the bed's pretty much together. I just got to make the um, headboard for it. The couch is in a state where I, I'm, I'm happy enough with it. If I have bonus time, I might like redo it pretty much. But for now, it looks good. I could cover up the bad little spot in the corner. I thought the posters all printed out. I took screenshots. I... Uh, perspective corrected them and I AI upscaled them as well um, and then just sliced them out and they all look really really mint I'm actually pretty pretty pleased with that result and then yeah I've just got a couple things drying that I'm gonna paint tomorrow really painting's been the worst thing about anything I've done uh, the paint ended up being quite opaque I didn't do any priming or anything like that um, I probably should have um, but I think I'm gonna try get some spray paint tomorrow and see if they'll you know, it, it's, it's a tool I know how to use properly, so it, I might have a better time with it. I'd rather just psh, have it done, you know. A uh, trip to Bunnings the next morning, and I had a can of spray paint, and I was so much happier after that. It just went on beautifully. I ended up overspraying it a bit, but I think it turned out really, really good compared to what I was doing with the acrylic. While I was at Bunnings, too, I ended up just grabbing some white paint for this little drawer thing, too, and it ended up being really good for that as well. With the bed base and mattress done, I moved on to the bed head. For this, I just used a piece of balsa wood, uh, sanded the corners down so they're around, and then upholstered it. As for the drawers of this bedside cabinet thing, I was originally going to paint them on, uh, but then I remembered I had this sort of wash tape stuff that was the right sort of colors. So I was going to cut a little notch on them as well, but I ended up just making them sort of square and simplified. And yeah, with that, that was all the furniture out of the way, so I ended up just sort of test fitting it in the room and I was really really happy with the look. Um, I think omitting the table is the right idea for this scale. There's just not enough not enough actual room in the room to have the table there and it would have been hard to make anyway so I'll take the easy out. Now that this paint's dry too I can actually add these posters and wall scrolls. Uh, for these I've sort of got two ideas I wanted to try out. Um, I figured some of them would actually be posters in her real life room and some would be wall art and like wall scrolls. So well, I've got one set of like really thin double-sided tape for some of them. And then others of them, I've actually got this like thicker mirror tape that's sort of 
going to be sitting off the wall a little bit and cast a little bit of a shadow. And I think that'll create a really nice effect. So at this point, I was a day and a half through. It was really looking good, really coming together. And unfortunately, I'd gotten all the easy stuff out of the way and just had the sewing left to do. Now, I hadn't really sewn much before this point. I'd sewn buttons back onto shirts before and maybe some iron-on patches once or twice, but nothing quite like this, where I'm actually doing seams and sewing things together like this. And I had a lot of fun with it, but it was pretty tedious, especially at this, like, tiny little scale. I just really wish they had, like, a machine that, like, sewed things, like a sewing machine for this. Uh, but I was doing it all by hand and having a pretty fun time with it. Um, if you look really close, it looks pretty um, punk rock, I call it. Just uh, very crooked little lines. Um, bro. We got it. Look at that. Worst thing I've ever put my fucking mouth. Yeah. I'm not fucking around. That is like fucking dry. So yeah, we did it guys. It's all finished. I think it looks really, really great. I think the furniture turned out awesome and the fabric and textures are perfect. And yeah, I just need like a little bit more clutter maybe, but again, I think it's doing a really good job at just, it, it's going to be such a good set deck thing. And yeah, Marin's going to be perfect with it. Everything's great. So yeah, the doll room's really clean, but um, my actual room's pretty trashed at the moment. Somehow during this whole process, I hadn't actually unboxed Marin yet, which is pretty exciting at this point. I think she turned out awesome. This was actually my first Android, and they're actually littler than I thought they were. Um, I really, really hate the stand. The stand really annoyed me. Uh, even when you had it on correctly, like, there's just not much you can do with it. Um, you couldn't tilt her head up per send point because it's so fat. And yeah, I'm not not ecstatic about this stand at all. And yeah, her little props are so cute. She doesn't have many of them, but what is included is really cute. She's got her little body pillow, this mirror thing, and her little DVD copy of uh, that uh, torture high school thing she watches. All right, guys, after three long days, I finished my little diorama. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? So good. What do you think, babe? She likes it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this file through. It turned out so, so awesome. I'm actually shaking with how ecstatic I am about this. I just can't believe how good a job I've done. Yeah, I've actually surprised myself. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone on Instagram for the positive feedback about this. I'm glad people think it's cool and like it and stuff like that. It just makes it so much more like rewarding for me because like, I put so much hard work into it. And yeah, I just had a blast making this too, just like... You know, doing my best at sewing, making all the furniture, um, just, just, just awesome. And, uh, yeah, again, I'd like to thank everyone on Instagram, all the OnlyFans girls for keeping me motivated during this period. And yeah, you guys for watching the video this far through, it makes it all just so gratifying for me, if that makes sense. Um, I'm glad I can make this and share this with people. And yeah, I just think it's such an awesome job. I... Uh, there's some stuff I can work on, obviously, like, I could add more clutter and stuff like that. Um, and I definitely want to look at maybe... I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next room, either. That's another thing. I might just leave it as a little Marin shrine and get, like, one of the mungas in. That's probably what I'll do, because I've, like, got so much Marin going on on the rest of my desk. That's probably the... That's probably the play, actually. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to try something else crafty. I've always wanted to have a go at cosplay, too, so that might be... That might be something I'll look at. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video this far through, and uh, check out some other videos on the channel. Hopefully there's something you like, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.